Accordance for Windows. This is podcast number 94. It's at the basic level and requires no working knowledge of accordance, Hebrew, or Greek. This is it, the day many of you have been waiting for. I'm very pleased to announce the official release of Accordance for Windows. It's fast, stable, and powerful. It's not a stripped-down version either. This initial release includes 99% of all the features found in the Mac version, and we're working on that last 1%. PC owners now have access to a native Windows version of the world's premier Bible software program. This is especially important for institutions whose IT departments do not yet support the Mac, and many overseas markets where the cost of a Mac is simply prohibitive. For all of you, welcome to the wonderful world of Accordance. At first glance, Accordance for Mac and Accordance for Windows look nearly identical. Watch. However, there are subtle differences between the two versions. Let's take a closer look at them. Our goal was not simply to make a Windows port of a Mac program, which would have made the two programs identical. All of us long-term Mac users remember the Mac's early days, when certain other companies did that to us. Suddenly, our Macs felt like PCs. We wanted their programs, but we wanted them to work like native Mac programs. Now that it's our turn, we want to do better for others than was done for us. After all, it's the golden rule. So, our programmers set a more challenging goal. To construct an application that looked and felt Windows native, yet still worked like accordance, with all its power, speed, and features. In my opinion, our programmers have succeeded admirably. For instance, the arrangement of menu items shows some of our programmers' close attention to details. Since Windows doesn't typically have a program menu, items under the Accordance menu on a Mac were distributed into menus appropriate for Windows. About Accordance and About the Text are in the Help menu, here. Application and Content Updates are in a Utilities menu. Preferences is under the Edit menu and Quit Accordance is under the File menu. What about Sync with Mobile Device and Sync with Dropbox? They are the only major Accordance features that won't be included in our first Windows release. However, we're working on them. Another area that is a little different are the commands. Windows uses a slightly different set of keyboard shortcuts, so we modified ours to fit. In almost every case, we were able to map the Mac command Option and Control click keys to the equivalent Windows Control, Alternate, and Right click keys. Now, Windows does not offer a convenient substitute for the Mac Control key, so we simply eliminated those keyboard shortcuts in our Windows version. However, the various copy as commands are so useful, we just couldn't bear to leave our Windows users without them, so they're simply different from the Mac program users will simply have to memorize those. Menus, of course, offer access to all the commands. And one item that is identical on both platforms is that the keyboard shortcuts are listed to the right of the respective menu commands. I suppose we have Bill Gates to thank for the fact that Windows now looks so much like the earliest Mac operating system. It certainly made our programmer's job easier. Probably the biggest difference between the two programs, and the one feature that is going to drive everyone nuts, is the close button. Macs traditionally place it on the left, while Windows puts it on the right. Once again, we decided not to force Windows users into a Mac convention, so we put the close buttons in accordance on the right. Now in many cases, that means that other elements had to be moved to the left. It's kind of like Americans driving cars in London for the first time. The rules are mostly the same. You're just on the opposite side of the road. Now that we're living in a cross-platform world, we'd like to recommend Mac and Windows users both become familiar with their cross-platform's equivalents. Doing so has four advantages. First, users will be able to use Accordance on either a Mac or a Windows computer. Second, they will be able to train or assist others to use Accordance on either platform. Third, Windows users will be able to benefit from pre-Windows podcast and training materials. And fourth, those used to using Accordance on a PC under a Mac emulator will be able to transition smoothly to the native Windows version. 
And now, presenting Accordance for Windows. Accordance for Windows works in the same seamless, intuitive way as Accordance for Mac, including all the keyboard shortcuts Mac users have known and come to love. When we place our cursor over a reference, the cross-references appear in the Instant Details window, which is at the bottom. Hold the Control key and click, our top-level reference tool appears. Hold the Alt key at the same time, and the information appears in a pop-up window. The same key combos work over individual words, too. Placing the cursor over a word in a key number text shows the key number and the basic info, while the control key brings up a basic lexicon and an English Bible Dictionary article. Now, let's use the Add Parallel button to add a Hebrew Bible. Doing the same in a grammatically tagged original language text shows parsing and an original language lexicon. Triple clicking in any of these cases opens a tool window with a dictionary or language article where we can switch to other tools in a heartbeat. So what about searches? After all, that was the original purpose of Bible study software. Well, Accordance for Windows is every bit as fast as Accordance for Mac, and just as simple to use. Type the word in the search entry box, hit return, and the search is done. And check out this pie chart of the results. It can sort the display either by key number or by word. Now how about a more complicated search? Let's try to find all the verses with both love and peace in them. Notice that there are no arcade code strings to memorize, and this search is just as fast. No time-lapse photography going on here, folks. This was recorded in real time. How about an analysis graph? Yep, it's here, along with a host of other helps we don't have the time to see. Did I mention that you can print directly from the program? or copy and paste into a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation? Now how about Accordance's Flex Search? It finds every tense or number of the most common English words. Now there's a time saver. Take a look at the results as it searches both testaments, displays every tense of the word run, and all of the key numbers, and all of the Hebrew words, and Greek words associated with those words. Accordance has long been known for the quality of its graphical resources, and this is another area in which Windows users haven't been left out. Open the Atlas, and we can search for any city in the Bible. We can customize the Atlas with a variety of different layers. Why, we can even view animated journeys and battles of some of the more significant events in the Bible. The graphics package includes the photo guide, which features 1,600 high-quality photographs of biblical places. Perfect for illustrating any Bible event. There's even a timeline, which helps users keep their place chronologically in the Bible. Accordance for Windows has many other features we can't take the time to go into. Want an interlinear? Choose a traditional one. Or design your own. Want something really different to display your favorite Bible? Check this out. Need to highlight a word? Or to use symbols for your inductive Bible study? We've got them. And with prices starting at $49.99 for complete packages, how can we go wrong? I'd like to personally welcome Windows users to our ranks. Some of you have been running Accordance under an emulator for years. We know it could be a hassle at times. Others of you have tried in vain to get your workplaces and institutions to permit Macs just so you could run Accordance. Thank you. We dedicate this Windows version to you and to the tens of thousands of your fellow PC users who have also longed for quality Bible software. Welcome to Accordance for Windows.
Oh, and by the way, when you buy Accordance, you own it for all three platforms, Mac, Windows, and iOS. So if you have a Mac at home and a PC at the office, no problem. Buy it once, use it on all your computers and all your iOS devices, iPhones, iPads, even the iPod Touch. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Thank you.